Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you're dropping an early like as well. But in today's video, I'm going to be covering the Kilo Assault Rifle. I've heard a lot of big things about this thing in Warzone, how it's shredding, and how it's just one of the best ARs in the game. It was my favourite gun at the start of this game and I've never really touched it since. Never really bothered about it since obviously the M4 and the MP5, they're my go-tos. But I thought I'd track the Kilo and I go on an absolute tail of this thing. It's actually insane. I don't think I've done a video on the Kilo since the Tracer Pack first came out. It was the first Tracer Pack we ever did see in Modern Warfare. So I thought I'd give it another go today and oh my god, it was insane. Just in case you guys were curious, this is the class setup I am rocking in today's video. It's a pretty decent Kilo setup. I'm still trying to experiment with the Kilo, see what the best setup is. But oh my god, this setup shreds, so make sure you do give it a try for yourself. But I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's hop straight into the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, we have a team deathmatch with the Kilo Assault Rifle using the Tracer Pack variant, the Cerlion of however you pronounce it. This was actually the first ever Tracer Pack weapon to be released into Modern Warfare. So very excited to be using this again. I've heard great things about the Kilo. It's like it sniped straight off the bat, which is not great. So yeah, like I said, I've heard nice things about it, good things about it, and everyone seems to be using it inside of Warzone. I don't know how this kid killed me here, to be honest. But it is what it is, I don't know how he knew I was there. But anyway, I thought I'd give it a try and, you know, it feels pretty decent. You know, I've had a couple of games beforehand with this thing and then I thought, you know, I need to record this thing. You know, it's it's really, really insane. I'd like to let you guys know. And as I'm tearing them apart right now, I've never actually used the Kilo with the Iron Sights. Apart from when I first, obviously, used it ever. Uh, I always preferred the Reflex Sight. I wasn't a fan of the Iron Sights, but they're actually not that bad at all. Oh my god, that kid is... Pff, thank god that kid got a hit marker with me on the Sniper. Hopefully we can get some streaks in this game. I have a very interesting video for you guys tomorrow as well. Uh, so make sure I stay in tune for that. And what is this kid doing? Why is he like... What is... How do you know I was there? What the hell? Like, you see his movement, how he was like tactical sprinting and tactical sprinting over and over again. Like, what is going on? So I have a very interesting video for tomorrow. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. Probably the most controversial video I've ever done inside of Call of Duty. I had to get a nice little two-piece there. Um... I'm really, really worried about uploading it. I've not actually, well, I've not actually made the video yet, so I still need to do the things I need to do for the video. I think I get a quad feed there. Let's go. Oh my god, they're all here. Need to focus up real quick. This kid's running at me with a knife. What is that guy doing? He's not even playing. We've got a VTOL. We're, oh my god, get away from me, man. We are shredding them. There's a guy behind this little rock or whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. C4 to your face, maybe? Oh my god, this kid with a knife. He's, he's all over the place. I don't even know what's going off. Two kills off the advanced UAV. We're going to call in the UAV. Oh my god, they don't know I'm here. We're on a 10 kill streak right now. We're going off with a kilo. It feels super nice. This kid doesn't know I'm here still. Wow. Oh my god, we've got an advanced UAV. The kid with a knife. Get out of my face. Oh my days. That kid's trying to snipe me. We're on a 13 kill streak. The kid with a knife. He keeps spawning here. What is going on? Literally, that kid's running straight past me. We're on a roof. There's five multi. And I'm going to get taken out there. Wow, that was a nice little quick streak there. Got the advanced UAV. Honestly, the Kilo is an absolute beast. But like I was saying, I have a very controversial video for tomorrow. So when you do see it, if you do see it, please don't judge me on it. Uh, I, I am, t you know, unsure whether to actually do the video or not. Uh, but it's something I've always wanted to see as I'm flashed here. You know, inside of the game, I'm going to get killed as well. Uh, I've never, you know, you, might, you guys might be able to gauge what I'm going to do uh, just from, you know, what I'm saying. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to try and whether it works or not, I don't know. Uh, so, I'm, you know, it's, I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, you know, fuck it. We're going to go for it. So, this kid's got EOD. Oh, my days. You're going to get taken out, my friend. Uh, and as well, as like I said in my previous video with the sniping stuff, I've not given up on that by all means. I just wanted to try the kilo out for today's video. Uh, I was playing with And to be honest, I'm kind of enjoying red gunning today. Uh, well, this is actually my first... Well, I've not been red gunning for too long. We've got a nice little quad feed again. Uh, just for the last hour or so of today of playing. Uh, I'm really feeling really nice with the sniper as well uh, lately. Um, definitely see some improvement. It's definitely going to make for a great, you know couple of videos to see some progression i think there's only two days left of the recruitment challenge but you know this you know i don't want people to think i'm doing it for the recruitment challenge you know the phase five i'm literally doing it for me uh, just to try and switch up you know the type of player i am uh as obviously you know you guys know me for red gunning you know best class to ups that type of thing you know the standard stuff uh whereas i'd like to you know branch out oh my such bad timing with the c4 there oh my god i'd like to branch out a little bit more and um 
you know, try some sniping, you know, get known maybe in the sniping community as well as just the regular Call of Duty community because the sniping community seems super cool. You know, I love seeing these sick clips, the hit, and I, I could just watch them all day on Twitter, I swear. Uh, I'd love to be a part of that, you know, be a really good sniper and known for being really good at sniping. I do enjoy sniping as well. It can be stressful, uh, but when you, you know, when you're feeling it, feeling it and, you know, you're having a good couple of games with the sniper, it's super enjoyable to play. Way more enjoyable to play than red gunning, in my opinion, unless I'm dropping nukes. Uh, but that rarely happens in this game with the skill-based matchmaking and stuff. You know, it's super hard to get nukes in this game. But it is what it is. I did actually try a live stream earlier as well on Twitch. Uh, but no, obviously no one really came to watch it. Obviously it was middle of the day. I presume a lot of people might be in school, work, that kind of thing now. Things are getting a little bit more back to normal. Uh, but make sure you do follow me over on my Twitch uh, the link is in the description, so follow me over there. I will be streaming a little bit more on Twitch. Uh, I'm tempted, obviously I want to stream more anyway, but I'm undecided yet whether it'll be on Twitch or be on YouTube. Uh, it's one of those things. Uh, I do prefer streaming on YouTube, to be honest, but Twitch, once I get used to it, oh my god, that kid just got destroyed. Once I get used to it, I might prefer it over there. Uh, obviously, Twitch is primarily, well, obviously only streaming, you see. As obviously, you guys know, I don't even know why I'm trying to explain it. You, everyone knows what Twitch is. Oh my god. Oh my god. This kid with a shotgun. This kid is annoying me to hell. So, definitely going to start streaming a little bit more. Definitely upping the game, as always. You know, you've got to be a better version of yesterday. You know, be better, be a better you than you were yesterday, whatever the saying goes. That's what I keep in mind. You know, I'm always, I'm recently getting into, which is going to sound super weird, unless you know what it is, manifesting. You know, I'm manifesting the future. You know, I have the power to do what I want to do in this this life. You know, life is short. You know, life, sometimes you've got to step back and just, you know, t take in what's going on around you and, you know, imagine what's going to happen in the future. Like, don't even imagine, like, you're just setting yourself, I'm setting myself goals constantly in my head. I'm picturing me achieving these goals because I know it'll come true. And that's pretty much what manifesting is. And that's what I've been doing recently. I've been getting into that a lot. Uh, just picturing my future and just how I'm going to achieve these goals. And obviously, if I don't act upon it, it's never going to happen. So I'm literally, I'm this kid with a throwing knife. Oh my god! Literally, going to be just trying my absolute hardest this, you know, coming years. Uh, put my all into this thing. I already have, you know, put so much effort into it, but there's so much more I could probably put into it. You know, literally going to be sacrificing a few things. You know, in my life, like doing instead of something else, I might do like I might want to go out somewhere or. You know, do something. I want to literally. I already invest so much time to this game, so why would I not try and do something like get something from it? Invest a little bit more time into you know what I want to be, my dream, and that's the end of the day. You know, most people don't achieve their dreams because they don't even try. You know, let's be honest. You could achieve anything you want, but if you don't try, then you're never gonna get there. So I've got to literally just try my hardest, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Got a little bit deep on you guys there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I've been thinking these last couple of weeks. Uh, not just because obviously I've been trying to really grind extra hard with the phase five challenge and things, um, but not just because of that. You know, it's just as a whole. I, I'm, you know, phase would be amazing to be in phase. It would be literally unbelievable dreams coming true there. That's literally childhood dreams. You know, everybody wanted to be in phase in Modern Warfare Two, and so ever since Modern Warfare Two. Everybody wanted to be in phase, you know, literally every single Call of Duty player. If you weren't, then I don't know what you was doing with your life, you know, unless you was, you know, an adult. I'm just C4 myself. But kids growing up just wanted to be in phase. Everyone from school. I remember people used to fake trying to join, like, they'd change the name, like, oh my god, I got in. Like, you're just lying to yourself. And then just maybe they'd met someone online who pretended they was in phase and they believed them. You know, everybody it was everybody wanted it, you know, everybody wanted it more than anything and you know, every time a sniper's pulled out, even to this day if I pull out a sniper and like I'm in a pile with my friends, you know, I'm always like messing around saying, Oh my god, I'm in phase, like if I do a decent snipe. It's just one of them things, you know, for me, you guys might know phase as a Fortnite thing, but you know, it's sniping in my eyes, you know, Call of Duty sniping, trick shotting. That they were the days Black Ops two was probably the peak for me. Uh, or Modern Warfare 2, probably Black Ops 2 as I was more into the game than you know, Modern Warfare 2, I played it very casually after school, uh, never that good, but Black Ops 2 is probably when it changed for me, like playing Call of Duty as a whole, that's when I literally just focused on it, I've literally, ever since Black Ops 2, probably played, played Call of Duty at, l at least once a week, ever since that day, and that's like nearly, t well it's not nearly, it was 2012, so nearly 10 years ago, and that's insane to think. You know, I've, that's when I first got into CDL and the Call of Duty League and all that kind of stuff. And I'm, I've been hooked ever since. Ever, I've been hooked ever since I picked up Modern Warfare 2. Uh, all my friends used to talk about it. I was always the last kid to get the game as well out of all my friends, which was mega annoying.
but it is what it is. We kind of flopped towards the end of this game. But wow, the kilo was insane. As I went on a little bit of a ramble there. Sorry if I did get a little bit deep, but believe me, guys, the kilo is just an absolute machine. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby now. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you try the kilo out for yourself. It's actually insane right now. Such one of the best ARs in the game. But unfortunately, guys, that is it from me. So make sure you guys are going down below and hitting that subscribe button, dropping a like. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, they're in the description below. But yeah, apart from that, guys, Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.